Richard Aldrich is a young New York-based painter whose practice, whose painting practice, um, is remarkable and um, notable for its experimentation. What you'll see from work to work um, in this exhibition is um, a, an incredible breadth of technique. And for uh, for the last several years, Rich's painting practice has um, has spanned um, the breadth from um, expressionist abstractions, uh, collage-based painting, um, object-based work where the paintings um, verge on the sculptural, um, text-based work. Um, but what is um, what is particularly notable for Rich's work is that all of these paintings, in um, even in the variety you can see um, from gesture, from technique, um, even if you could, um, if you think about questions of style, is that the practice as a whole um, comes from a place of a deep personal engagement with the artist's um, life in the studio, his relationships, and his relationship to history, to the history of art, to the history of painting. Um, this exhibition called Richard Aldrich and the 19th Century Painting is very much about relationships. From one painting to the next, you'll see um, the ways in which he employs similar gestures to different ends. Um, there are some paintings in the show which are entirely abstract and um, in which you might think of artists like Joan Mitchell or um, Philip Guston. Um, Object-based paintings, there's a particular painting in the show called Bed which um, which conjures associations of Robert Rauschenberg's combine paintings. And there are also representational works um, where Rich has um, created a kind of large scale still lifes of objects from the studio, um, portraits. And the paintings themselves, um, which you'll see in this exhibition, where there are 20 paintings in the exhibition, are deeply interconnected. Um, this is the most comprehensive installation of. Aldrich's work to date. Um, this is his first show in a museum. This is his first major exhibition in a museum. And um, it's in this exhibition where you're, you're able to see, really for the first time, the ways in which these paintings build off of one another um, and effectively um, are all um, intricately connected. Aldrich's painting practice is deeply invested in systems of repetition, translation, um, even self-quotation. And you'll, you'll see this in this exhibition. Um, and if you look carefully, you'll even see moments where passages of color, gesture, are repeated from one canvas to the next. Um, but for Rich, uh, for the artist, this is um, this is very much about the ways in which he can um, experiment with line, color, form, and what this um, says about what a painting means, how it functions, um, and what it means to be painting today. Despite these, despite connections um, one might be able to make to a history of contemporary or even modern art, um, for Rich, his experimentations are less about a reiteration of history um, and more what he calls and has called the otherworldliness of experience. Um, again, his uh, personal life, his studio practice, even the, the objects, the scraps of canvas, the books of poetry um, that find their way onto the canvas uh, are part of um, how he translates daily experience onto the canvas. 
his relationships to friends, other artists, um, also come to play in his painting. And for um, and what you'll find in in this work um, is what Aldrich has described in the past several times as a foothold. I mean, what he what he calls his position to painting. Um, and to history, a foothold between innocence and understanding. So you'll find in these um, this breadth of technique um, an experimentation which at once is highly attuned to its position in history, to the kinds of gestures that it, they might resonate um, with in in um, in other artists' work, perhaps, but um, and and the kind of meaning that those gestures might generate, and also the kind of innocence, um, or maybe even naivete, that gives itself over to um, to being open to new possibilities for painting. This exhibition here at the Contemporary, um, the artist's first major museum exhibition, um, Gives, uh, gives way to 20 of the artists' large-scale canvases produced in the last several years. They're all uniformly scaled. Um, it's important to note that Aldrich um, works at different scales. He also makes paintings that are quite intimate. Um, we made the decision to show uh, the uniformly scaled large paintings in order for you as a viewer um, to be able to um, pay closer attention to the ways in which gesture repeats itself and varies from canvas to canvas. Um, a second component of this exhibition um, comes from a special and unprecedented collaboration with our neighbor, um, the St. Louis Art Museum, uh, for which the artist Aldrich has chosen um, four paintings from four masterworks from the museum's permanent collection and installed them among his own works. Now, um, this is a collaboration that's never happened before. We, um, in that, um, we at the we've never worked with an artist who has um, chosen to position historical works among his own. And this speaks to, um, and the reason we, um, he decided to add this as an element to the exhibition, this speaks to um, the ways in which he, um, in his own installation of works um, and in his practice, is continually trying to investigate um, new ways to tell a story, um, new ways to reveal relationships that are very personal to him. Um, there are four great works that um, the Art Museum has loaned to us. Two, uh, Edouard Fouillard Interiors, a Pierre Bonnard still, still Life, and a um, Sir William Orpen Self-Portrait. Um, the, the two Vuillards in this exhibition are particularly significant um, as Richard Aldrich has um, a close personal affinity to Fouillard. Um, he, um, Fouillard is an artist who was uh, keenly attentive to both, to how form and subject matter um, could relate. And his um, interiors, the ones for which he's most famous, two of which we have in this show, um, are representative of the kind of focus that he gave to family life um, and his relationships. One called A Seamstress features his mother, um, who is a corset maker, um, at work. And the other features um, Care Xavier KX Roussel, um, his brother-in-law and his colleague um, and friend. Uh, in their study. Now, um, Rich's particular attention to this period of work um, 
the, sh the exhibition is called Rich Alderton, the 19th century painting. Um, for, for Rich, that also spans, I mean, it spans late 19th century, but also into the early 20th century, um, because, of course, two of the four paintings in this exhibition are not from the 19th century, but the early 20th. Um, for Rich, um, his interest comes, his interest in this particular period of work, this early modernism, um, comes from the way in which these artists, these painters, dealt with subject matter. That for them, um, their daily life, um, their relationships to family, to friends, um, to colleagues, um, and the world in which they worked um, became the central focus of how, uh, um, on the canvas and the ways in which form could attend to those, that subject matter in different ways. Um, Rich feels very deeply that this is his focus in his painting as well. Um, and while the juxtaposition between um, these early modern works in this exhibition and Rich's very contemporary painting will be stark, um, this is an attempt to see how these relationships can be built. Um, you'll even see interconnected relationships between these these four works um, and their relationship to the show, which is why Rich chose them. Um, Pierre Bonnard, who's um, a still life of what, still life we're we're presenting in this exhibition, was a friend of Vuillard's and a member with. Um, Roussel, who's featured in the VR painting, um, a member of Les Nabi, which was a, um, a political, a small group of um, pol young, politically charged painters, um, and the, the most famous of whom were Vuillard, Roussel, and Bonnard. William Orpin's um, strange self-portrait is um, is one that um, offers a, in a way, a kind of uncanny but stereotypical portrait of the artist, the painter. Um, and Rich's exhibition, which in a way is a self-portrait of his um, studio practice and his life, um, this painting is meant to complement that in that way and to bring out um, bring out new associations for you as you walk through his show.